Okay, well, what we have here is an example of a trig application problem dealing with harmonic motion. All right, and what we have here is we want to do three different things. Now, when you talk about harmonic motion, um, harmonic motion is talking about waves, okay, that either come in cosine or sine waves. Uh, what we have is D refers to the distance of the wave that it travels, all right? Um, A, it refers to um, really the displacement, all right, from the midline or line of oscillation to the peak valley. So really what we're talking about is the amplitude, all right? And then what we have right here is W, all right? W refers to um, a part of the frequency we have, which is also known as our B value, all right, our B value. Okay, um, and T is referring to is our input here and is known as time. Okay, is time. All right, we have a frequency, okay, frequency of a harmonic motion, which is W, our B value, divided by 2 pi. And you can see the two different ways to write this. Now, using this information, we want to figure out from each one of these harmonic motion problems, okay, um, given that this is our harmonic motion um, equation for some type of uh, wave or whatnot, we want to find the maximum displacement. We want to find the frequency, and then we want to find the least possible value for t, so the time for which d, the distance, equals zero, okay? All right, or, this, or the, this, uh, yeah, the distance equals zero. So, um, in going through and doing this, okay, um, we want to figure this out. So, we're going to go through, and we're going to go through each one individually. So, what is a maximum displacement, all right? Maximum displacement. So, maximum displacement is when you do a harmonic motion wave is how far it will be from the midline, okay? This midline or line of oscillation, all right? Line of oscillation. So um, when you're talking about that, we really are talking about, well, what's the distance from here, all right, to a max, okay, to the max value, to the max value. And when we see that, we know that when we refer to, like, for example, all right, a cosine function, this max value starts here at generally zero right there and then goes down, all right, for the normal value. So we know that this value, this displacement, okay, this maximum displacement is really referring to our amplitude. And so to figure this out for this part A, we really are looking for what is the A value of the function. Generally, it's equal to one, but because we're multiplying by one third, we know that amplitude will equal one third here. So A, our max displacement, all right, is going to equal one third, one third, okay? One third, which is right there, which is equal to the absolute value of our A value, okay? So that's one third. All right, um, going to B, what is our frequency of this wave, all right? B, our frequency, well, B, our frequency, you can see from the frequency equation, is that frequency is equal to W over 2 pi, all right? Or actually, the reciprocal of how you find the period, okay? And so, in this case, with our W, our W is 12 pi, and what is over 2 pi? And so, we have is our frequency is 6, all right? 6. All right, um, we don't tell us exactly how this is measured, um, and so it's going to be six. That's our frequency, okay? Um, going to part C, all right, part C, okay? This says, and this is probably the most difficult one, it says, what is the least positive value for T for which D equals zero? Well, in order to figure this out, we're going to set up an equation because our D value is going to equal zero. So we're just going to plug that in for D, and then we're going to have one-third cosine of 12 pi t. And now what we want to do from here is we want to solve for t, all right? We want to solve for t. Now in our solve for t, we're going to get cosine by itself. So I multiply both sides by three. And so we have zero equals cosine of 12 pi t. Now, how do you get rid of this to solve for t? Well, cosine, we're going to take the arc cosine of both sides or the inverse cosine of both sides, however you want to say that. So arc cosine of zero, oops, Oops, our cosine of zero, okay, our cosine of zero is equal to, all right, our cosine of 12, eh, sorry, of 12 pi t, okay? And I didn't write that right, okay? Our cosine of the cosine of 12 pi t. So I'm doing that because we're gonna use the inverse to try to unlock the inside here, okay? And um, so we have the arc cosine of zero. Well, arc cosine of zero, 
is actually all right um so what's the farthest distance all right uh for value t for least positive value least positive value um and so when we have this there are two different values where cosine um equals zero or cosine equals zero um and if you recall this this is either going to be since we're doing arc cosine the arc cosine graph we know goes from zero to all right pi and so we know that all right um oops not pi all right um and where is this going to equal zero? Well, zero, cosine is zero right here um, at this pi over two, pi over two, all right? This value of pi over two. Because we know on the unit circle, all right, unit circle, we have zero, all right, one, all right? That's when cosine is zero. And so we have pi over two right here, all right? Pi over two is going to be right there. And so what we have then is going to be our cosine, all right? Our cosine, these cancel out. And left with is 12 pi t, 12 pi t. We solve for this by dividing by 12 pi. So we have pi over 2 times 1 over 12 pi. That equals t. The t's will cancel out. Doop, doop. And we're left with is, all right, 1 24th, all right, t. And that is the closest one, closest value when we're solving that. So when time is, all right, 1 over 24, it could be seconds or whatever the unit of time in this case may be, okay? And so doing this, we can see how we're using inverse trig and solving this equation, all right, to cancel those out. Okay, cool. So you do know, you know, know your circle chart. Now, um, you can try this next problem on your own, see if you can solve it, all right, by this harmonic frequency, all right, uh, harmonic motion, sorry, not frequency, motion problem. Um, why don't you try this? Out yourself and then you can press play when you're ready to find out the answer okay so right here let's try a again what I'm going to find is the amplitude all right because we're looking for the maximum displacement well the maximum displacement in this case is going to be 1 over 20 all right because that is the absolute value of a and the maximum displacement is equal to the all right amplitude of, of a harmonic motion or this sine graph all right so now the next thing is this is now we're going to find out what is our frequency well frequency once again is going to be w which in this case is 792 pi over 2 pi okay and we see that the pies will cancel out all right we can see that this goes into this how many times three all right um then we have uh three we six we um, 19, so we can see that's 9. We have 12, I believe that's 396. 396, all right, is going to be our simplified answer, which is 792 divided by 2, all right, um, in there. Okay, make sure that's right. Yep, yep, all right, and so we have that. And for the final one is what is the, all right, um, least positive value for t for which d equals 0, all right, for which d equals zero. So if we start right here, okay, and for c, we set d equaling to zero, one over 20, all right, sine, and then we have 792 pi t. Once again, we're going to take the arc, multiply both sides by 20, so we have zero equals the sine, in this case of 792 pi t. Um, and then solving this, um, what we're going to go through is, Kind of separate this right here. Um, we're going to take our cos our arc sine from both sides, so arc sine of zero, all right, and arc sine of the sine of 792 pi t. We know that these will cancel out. We're left with 792 pi t, and that equals our cosine of zero. Now, where is our cosine equal to zero? Okay. Um, well, arc sine is equal to zero at um, zero, all right? Zero or pi, okay? Zero pi, because when you think about this, where is sine zero on the Newton circle? If that is where the y is zero, we have a y is zero at one zero, which is zero, and we have another one right here at pi, which is negative one zero, all right? If we had our unit circle right there, these two values, so angle at zero, all right, zero radians and then pi or 180 degrees radians right there. So 
Now, depending on how we define what is the all right, least positive value for t, least positive value for t, all right, um, looking at this, and we're probably looking at, okay, going through here, and either we can say this value is 0, so t would equal 0. Now, if we don't consider 0 being a positive number, we could also say that pi, pi would be right here, and that equals 792 pi, all right, t. Um, and we could divide that, and what we have then is an answer of, all right, um, 1 over 792, because we have to divide both sides by 792 pi, pi's will cancel out, and that would be our answer. So depending on how you read this, okay, if you don't believe this is a positive value, which 0 technically um, isn't really, it's in between the positive and negative numbers, our closest positive value appears to be right here at 1 over 792t, okay? So there we go. That's how we do it. Solving this right here, um, make sure we know maximum displacement is going to be our all right, our a value, our amplitude. Frequency, we use w over 2 pi or b over 2 pi. Okay, and then finally, um, for this right here, whenever we find when the distance equals 0, using our inverse trig, find out what these values are, arc cosine of 0 or arc sine of 0, understanding it's 0 or pi, and then solve um, for t after you have that. Okay, well, I hope this helps you out with some harmonic motion application problems, and good luck and God bless in the rest of your problems.